Hello guys, full time at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, it is Arsenal 1, Carabag 0. We've had some very memorable moments at this ground in recent weeks. You think of the Derby win, you think of Lucas Torreira's bicycle kick the other day. Not perhaps the most memorable match tonight, but it will be a memorable evening nonetheless for a number of young players, some of whom made their debut tonight. Uh, the goal came early on, it came from Lacazette. Well worked, uh, good Pressing from Enketia and Ozil collecting a relatively rare assist this season. A good finish from Lacazette. And that made it 1-0. The announcements are very loud. I don't know if you'll hear this. Anyway, with these games being the kind of dead rubbers they are, being the kind of unusual levels they are, it's difficult to analyse the match too much. Uh, instead, I'm just going to focus on analysing the players. I um, hope you can hear me. Emmy Martinez started in goal. I mean, look, he had nothing to do, really. But it was nice to see him. He's still alive. He's still around. Uh, deserved a run out, I guess, although Petr Cech will feel like, you know, he, he needs the game time where he can get it. Can't get a game here or there at the moment. Carl Jenkinson played at right back. Not a great game for him. A, a climb down, really, from his centre-back heroics here in the last round in this fixture. But uh, I thought, yeah, going forward, he struggled. He couldn't find a forward pass. Look, had to keep coming back inside towards El Nani or Ozil. I thought we saw some of his technical limitations tonight. But very willing as ever. Uh, left back, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Well, you can't think of many players who would start a game at left back and finish it at right wing. But that's what Ainsley Maitland-Niles did. So versatile. I have to say, I continue to think he... He looks body type wise, attributes wise, like he might be a great fullback to me. I'd love to see him play right wing back in the system that we're losing with the first team. Uh, maybe we'll get that opportunity over the Christmas period. Centre halves, Socrates and Koscielny. Koscielny came through 17 minutes unscathed. A couple of sprints, got through them. I have to say there was one instance where he and uh, Socrates were chasing back and Socrates was quicker than Koscielny and I think maybe if those two are a pairing that we see again in future this might be the first time in his Arsenal career that Koscielny isn't asked to be the quick one out of the two centre-halves uh, central midfield I thought it was an area where we struggled tonight big drop off in quality no Torreira no Shaka, no Genduzzi Elneny looked like a player short on confidence to me his passing was as pedestrian as it can be uh, oh the Christmas songs are, are playing now lovely uh, Joe Willock I thought was much better later in the game when he was playing in the final third as a kind of inside forward or attacking playmaker not for me at his best in that deep role they're having a little dance up there the steward but I thought I'd capture it on the video but she's stopped now being sensible um, mixed game for Joe Willett like I say you know I just thought he vacated the midfield too often but he has got great size, great technical ability. Eddie and Ketia, good night for Eddie, I thought. No goal, uh, good diving header. Disallowed, he was fractionally offside. But involved in the build for the first goal, pressing, the only goal I should say, pressing, which Emery will like. Playing from the right wing predominantly. And to be honest, if he wants to get a regular role in this Arsenal first team squad, he probably has to take a leaf out of Danny Welbeck's book and be someone who can play on the right, play on the left, be a bit more versatile than just a pure number nine, a pure poacher, because with Aubameyang and Lacazette there, game time is going to be hard to come by. Uh, on the opposite flank, Saka. I thought Saka was really promising, 17 years old, left-footed, very skillful, very confident, should have scored, of course, a great chance after another good Enketia moment, cross from him. Uh, but at 17 years of age, showed a lot of confidence. I think we'll see more of him. Maybe not this season. You know, maybe just the odd run out in the Cups. But I think, uh, you know, in the future, he's definitely one to watch. Meza Ozil started the game like he meant business. A couple of extraordinary touches, really. Little uh, back heel, drag back, flick. And he got his assist. So no complaints about his performance. Uh, went off on 83 minutes I don't think he'll start the weekend but he's back in the squad and that can only be a good thing as for Lacazette an hour for him surprised that he started it was a big call bit of a risk really but he got his goal and that could do wonders for his confidence he had a bad miss didn't he against Huddersfield and he's been in and out of the starting 11 recently players who came on Medley I really like the look of Zach Medley played left back actually in this one rather than centre half but very tall very elegant on the ball played one brilliant crossfield pass I like him what can you say uh, Nacho Monreal who got another 20 minutes both he and Koscielny probably will start against Southampton and then Gilmore who got seven minutes the Scotsman a few nice touches but there we go we're through we've done it that's the group stage put to bed it's all about Southampton on Sunday now the captain's back 
Ozil's back. Let's keep that unbeaten run going for yet another game. Cheers, guys.